What are the most reliable car brands that you can buy? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. I'm going to share the 10 most reliable car brands that you can buy for 2024, according to the latest reliability study from Consumer Reports. And spoiler alert, I'm going to kind of tear this list apart. We're going to see how this list compares to other reputable reliability studies from IC Cars and Car Edge. But before we get into it, remember if you enjoy and get value out of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. So let's start off with the first car brand in the number 10 spot, which is Kia. Being at number 10, this puts Kia slightly above average in reliability and just in front of its sister brand Hyundai, which came in the number 11 spot, which makes perfect sense. Average is more or less a fair way to describe Kia's reliability. Although many owners have been happy with them, the company has had a lot of serious recalls and quality issues over the past several years, which are concerning. Car Edge seems to agree with Consumer Reports rankings, but I see cars on the other hand doesn't put Kia or Hyundai anywhere near the top. According to Consumer Reports, the most reliable model that Kia makes is the Sportage or the Sportage plug-in hybrid, which was ranked well above average in reliability. And next up in the number nine spot, we have another somewhat questionable pick, which is BMW. Admittedly, BMW does seem to have improved over the last few years, and their latest engines, the B48, but especially the B58 inline six cylinder engine are proving to be fairly reliable. This is why, according to Consumer Reports, their most reliable models are the BMW X5, the X3, and also the smaller 2 Series and 3 Series. Even so, BMW, much like other European luxury brands, are known for being very expensive to repair out of warranty, and are generally not the safest choices for long-term ownership. This is why BMW is nowhere near the top in IC Cars reliability rating, and according to Car Edge, the 10-year cost of ownership of BMW is more than double that of the most reliable luxury brands. And it's a similar story with Consumer Reports choice for the number 8 most reliable car brand, which is Porsche. Now I think there's no question that as far as reliability goes, Porsche is at the top among European luxury brands. Their build quality is very good, and even though the Consumer Reports survey only looked at two models, the Macan and the Cayenne SUVs, all Porsche models are often ranked above average for their quality. Again, much like BMW, the issue with Porsche is the cost of ownership past the warranty period. They are very expensive to repair, and according to Car Edge, even more so than BMW. So with these two brands, it is safest to enjoy them for a few years and get rid of them before they get too old and too costly. But the next car brand that's in the number 7 spot is one that I cannot dispute, and that one is Mazda. Ever since Mazda cut its ties from Ford over a decade ago, their cars have improved dramatically, and they are now some of the most reliable cars on the road. Every model that Mazda makes, ranked above average for reliability, led by the MX-5 sports car. IC Cars and Car Edge both agree with this choice, so there's really no arguing here. And next up in the number 6 spot, we have Subaru. Again, just like Mazda, this one is another solid choice, and one that I would certainly agree with. Subaru just makes some excellent, well-made cars that are just known to last. According to Consumer Reports, their most reliable models are the Crosstrek and the Forester, both of which ranked well above average. IC Cars and Car Edge both agree with this choice as well. So in general, you should be very safe choosing a Subaru. And next in the number 5 spot, we have another really solid choice, and that is Honda. Reliability is a quality that Honda has long been known for, and the data from IC Cars and Car Edge would certainly agree. According to Consumer Reports, Honda's most reliable model is the HRV, which ranked well above average in the survey. That was followed by the CRV, the Accord, and the Civic. All excellent choices and absolutely no brainers when it comes to reliability. And with Honda ranking so highly, it's no surprise to see its sister brand in the number 4 spot, which is Acura. Acura is the luxury brand of Honda and both are mechanically very similar, so it's no surprise that both brands have very good reliability. Their most reliable models are the RDX SUV, followed by the TLX, 
both of which ranked above average in reliability in the survey. So for the most part, Consumer Reports seems to be getting their picks mostly right. That is until we get to the car brand that's in the number three spot, and that is Mini. Now, it is here where the flaws in Consumer Reports methodology become apparent. Much like Porsche, Consumer Reports only looked at two Mini models, the Countryman and the Cooper Hatchback. So if they both rank really well, that means the entire Mini brand also ranks really well, and vice versa. And the reason these two models have ranked well is because they have been unchanged and have been around for so long now that Mini has had plenty of time to work out all the kinks and issues. But even so, Mini has had a troubled reliability history in the past. They are part of BMW, and like BMW, they can be very expensive and complicated to repair. Certainly, I see cars and car edge don't rank Mini quite as highly, and you can bet that when Mini comes out with the redesigned Cooper Hatchback and the Countryman later in the year, with a lot of brand new complicated technology, I wouldn't be surprised if Mini plummets down this list really fast. Anyways, moving on, the second most reliable car brand for Consumer Reports is a far more predictable one, and that one is Toyota. Now be prepared for some really impressive stats here. Out of Toyota's 20 different models that were ranked in the survey, way more than any other car brand, 10 of them ranked above average in reliability, and 6 of them ranked well above average, with the top performers being the 4Runner, the Camry, the Camry Hybrid, the Prius, the RAV4 Prime, and the regular RAV4. That is seriously impressive, but no real surprise. Toyota has also topped the reliability studies of both IC Cars and Car Edge. This is a brand which built its reputation on quality above else, and there is no safer choice if you want a trouble-free car that's going to last as long as possible. That is unless you go with the number one most reliable car brand, which is Lexus. That's right, Lexus has once again come in the number one spot, beating all other car brands and absolutely decimating its luxury rivals. Lexus is the luxury arm of Toyota, with the same razor-sharp focus on quality. Every model they make ranked above average, with the top performer being the UX, small crossover SUV, ranking well above average. I see Cars and Car Edge also rank Lexus just as highly, so safe to say, if you want the most reliable, well-made, long-lasting car, it is really hard to beat Lexus. Now, there were some really interesting trends that came from the Consumer Reports study, one being that hybrid cars happen to be the most reliable type of vehicle. And what were the least reliable vehicles? Well, those happen to be electric vehicles and trucks. Now, I have to admit, this is a little bit misleading because it's not so much the technology or the vehicle type that really determines how reliable a vehicle is. It is really the brand more than anything else. The vast majority of hybrids on the road happen to be Toyota, Lexus, and to a lesser extent Honda, so it makes perfect sense why they rank so high. And on the flip side, most of the popular electric vehicles and trucks happen to be made by car brands that don't rank that well. They also tend to use a lot of brand new technology that has not really been time tested, so they tend to still have a lot of kinks and issues that need to be sorted. Again, the complete opposite of most of the popular hybrids, most of which have had their technology around for a very long time and have had most of their issues worked out. I'm going to have a whole lot more to say about all this in next week's video when I rank the least reliable car brands, but in the meantime, let me know what you thought of this video, and if you have any suggestions for any future car videos, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also check out my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, and if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to visit carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.